Hey guys, Rob out here, and I am always in hotwater.com and boatsinhotwater.com. Uh, boiling out here in June of 2017 with this uh, 2000 Jaws Loroquin 24 or Loroquin Jaws 24, however you want to call it. It's a center console, and um, as you can see, she's a beauty uh, in really nice shape as far as the exterior goes. We did just give her a quick rinse, and overall, she's held up real well over the years. Uh, very lightly used vessel. This is the third owner. Uh, he's probably only put about 40 or 50 hours on it. The previous owner did the same and the original owner had about 150 hours on it. We're going to call the boat a 300 hour boat but in reality it's probably only about 250 hours at best. Uh, well maintained, well serviced and uh, I'm just going to kind of walk through to give you guys just a visual view and really you can see the obvious I'm just gonna point out the negative uh, let me walk through the exterior of the vessel real quick so you guys can see what you're looking at now I'm gonna make some notes all services everything that's been up to date is noted on the site done of 2016 in fact the mechanic just came out and did a once through boats gonna be on the water this weekend the fine folks are gonna be using it um, low hour motors these are mercury 150 EFI's 1999 series I actually we tried to hook a computer up to get actual hours but it's like the year before or the year before that um, where they could actually do it so we're about two years off the mark but general estimate is uh, gonna be about that on hours uh, I think these are 21 inch props I have that up on the side I can't remember uh, I have pictures of the engines they are in very nice condition I personally just did a compression test on port engine you're running about 115 on all chambers I think you're a 115 115 115 115 120 115 and here you are running about 110 to 112 uh, 110 to 112 110 to 112 and this one was about 105 106 now that can be skewed because something else I want to point out this is an oil mix 50 to 1 ratio in the fuel tank I can tell you now, I am quite sure that the owner of the boat now never gets it right. So um, there's that. So because he asks me and I'm like, you filled up the tank, why are you telling me? So um, there's the comedy in that. So anyway, I think it's about a 60 gallon fuel tank. I can't find any specs on the boat. They did just put 40 gallons in looking at the fuel tank itself, which is underneath the center console. It looks like it's got at least enough room to go up to 60, possibly 70 gallons. So, you know, you're going to kind of have to figure that out in use of the boat with the 51 ratio or hook on external oil tanks. So now that we got that out of the way, hours, um, compression, trim tabs everything works I uh, check that out um, let's take a quick look on the AC you guys can see the boat is clean the boat is nice that is a 2017 trailer literally just showed up about 10 days ago it has touched salt water once and that was just one time for us to dip the trailer in to uh, fit get the old trailer out put that thing in the junkyard and um, fit this one in now I want to point out, and you guys need to know, outside of the fact if you're looking for this for a fishing vessel, it does not have a live well A and B. As sleek as it looks, remember, Jaws Loroquin designs high performance center console boats back in those years. In fact, most of these boats were designed with inboard outboard motors. Okay, uh, the big Mercs powering these things for racing. This is one of the rare opportunities where it's got the transom in the, in the uh, outboard motors. It is a 610 beam. This beam is 610. So if you're going to be in rough water, or you're going to be in skinny water. Now granted, if you're on a skiff or something and you're rocking and rolling and you're fishing in shore, um, you know, you're fine when you're rocking back and forth. But remember, this is a 610 beam your ride is going to be much different than an 8.6 beam. So I want everybody to know that going in. Uh, reason being is I don't want anybody wasting their time on sea trial. You know, this is a high performance center console boat that can also be used for fishing and family fun. High performance first, fishing second. So keep that in mind. Now as much as I'd like to take a 6.10 beam inshore up to the shell beds, I don't want to scratch the nice paint. In addition, 
uh, it is 24 foot and it's all of 24 foot. So I, I'm just trying to make sure everybody's clear on what we're dealing with here. As far as the external hull of the vessel goes, I have zero complaints except for right here. You guys can see over the years, you got a couple little chips right here. You know, honestly, I don't think it's affecting anything. Um, but I just want you to pop up and say, oh, what, what the heck? And also right here, which the seller was actually going to have tongue, but since he's selling the boat, you got the scratch here and here. I didn't even ask what happened. I don't want to know. So that's about it. Anything that would be offensive to you. Trailer, torsion, axle, no brakes. Obviously clean title. Clean titles on the motors. Clean titles on the boat. Trim tabs. We're going to pop up on in and I'm just going to give you guys a walkthrough. I think the Yeti cooler will be included. I'm not 100% sure, but let's just kind of put a pin in that. Your electronics are nice, but they're dated. You guys can see this Raytheon uh, SL70, but shoot, you got a Raytheon SL70 with radar. You got to close the ray up top. You got a Lowrance 525 on here. You got a working stereo system. I've been through the functions. The horn does not work. Obviously, I'm not on the water, so I can't give you the down low on every single gauge. Let me just see something real quick. Uh, volts on, yeah. Um, from what I remember, the last time I had it on the water, everything was working with miles per hour, but I think that was actually uh, that liquid fill gauge, that um, piece was put on down below, which was that new fitting that you saw. Quicksilver controls, Bennett trim tabs, all working. Uh, obviously, the electronics are working. I have not checked the bilge on the water, and I have not checked the nav lights, but now you're getting into small potatoes. Overall, I just want to give you the view of the vessel. Forge, you got lots of room. Here's me sitting, legs out. I'm six foot, sitting up. Actually, if I sit up and put my legs out, you still got all that going on. So, you know, easily one person, two person, three person, four person, five person. I don't know what the rating is on this boat. Plenty of room to move about. And this forward cuddy area is really just for storage. Um, you know, nothing to brag about. Generally, the flooring lights up uh, at night. I haven't been out on it at night, so I don't know how effective that's going to be. Your cushions are in nice condition. Any kind of wear you're going to see is really minimal for a 17-year-old vessel. Um, moving back, helm is in nice shape. Gauges look good. Overall, just a real nice boat. I think up top here, this uh, T-top being through the winter, uh, that's going to need a little bit of a pressure washing, but go easy. Um, you don't want to sandblast that, but that'll clean up. Uh, I was going to have them do it, but uh, we just didn't have time. And then, you know, you got your storage. I don't know how they're... Oh, that's actually pretty clean. Oh, there's some more lines. Okay. And up in here... See your Sea Star steering just so you guys get a quick peek. And right here, this is going to be your bilge area, your batteries. Now, the batteries were just replaced, I think, in the last 45 days. So you got brand new batteries. I can't dip my head in there because it's awkward. But right up here and right up here, that is where you got marine water fuel separator, marine water fuel separator, uh, your pumping bulbs if you need them for the fuel, and also perco switches uh, for on off. So overall, not too bad. So that'll pretty much cover it on the walkthrough. I really think it's just a matter of sea trial. Let's see if these lights on the inside. Let's uh, see if that thing pops on. Uh, running? No, not running lights. Cabin lights? I guess those. Oh yeah, look at that. Well, one comes on. All right, you got one cabin light working. You're missing one cover on a speaker. Cabin more. Cabin light starboard is working. We're not working on that LED, but you know, so be it. It's a used boat. Anyway. Hopefully that'll do it for you guys. It's a good walkthrough. I've tried to give you as much information as I can. Compression numbers, very well serviced. Keep in mind, oil fuel mix. Keep in mind, 610 beam, brand new trailer, trim tabs, designed for performance, day cruising, uh, you know, getting where you want to go pretty quick. I do not have performance numbers. I hope to get the boat out on the water myself to give you that over the next week. But there are a few people already interested in the boat. I really don't know if it'll last that long. Or then again, you know, it all depends on the seller and the buyer. So it's really not up to me. Um, but anyway, that's what we're looking at. 
Jaws Larkwin 2000 high performance center console on a brand new trailer uh, ready to go anywhere you need it uh, reasonable offers may be considered uh, the seller has invested a lot of money in this boat over the last year including 4,000 into the trailer so uh, I wouldn't get your hopes up too much but uh, we can't have a frank conversation uh, offers will be entertained if they're reasonable and we'll kind of go from there so anyway Rob out here and I'm always in hotwater.com wishing you guys a great and safe boating day